Hey friends, Pastor Tyler here, and we are continuing our series in Psalm 23, looking at God's provision, God's guidance, God's protection, and ultimately God's promises. And today we are specifically looking at Psalm 23, verse 4, and God's protection. And to begin, I want to share a story. Most of you know that Emily and I own an Australian Shepherd. And when my Australian Shepherd, Milo, gets close to my two younger nephews, he gets in herding and protective mode. My brother, older brother John, and his wife, Emily, have two boys and one girl. And the older two are named James and Cody. And they are rambunctious, they are wonderful, they can't sit still. And when Milo is around them, he thinks that he needs to herd them and he needs to protect them and he needs to keep them together. And even when I try to um, go towards James and Cody when they're playing and when Milo's in protective mode, sometimes Milo gets a little rough with me and then that's not good. But that is his protective, that is, is his herding instinct at play. Play. How much greater do you think the true shepherd wants to protect us? If an Australian shepherd who is bred to herd and protect the sheep will do that with kids and sheep, how much greater does God want to protect us? Are you scared? Are you fearful? God is with you. God is going to protect you. David writes in Psalm 23, 4, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, because you are with me, God. Your rod and your staff comfort me. And David is going back to the metaphor of the shepherd and the rod and the staff for the Shepherd were both defensive and offensive tools. The staff itself was often used to, to pull sheep back in line so that together they were more protected. And the rod was used to defend the sheep against wild creatures that would come and try to destroy the flock. And there's yet another way that a shepherd would protect his sheep. Their voice. Sheep knew their shepherd's voice. Do we, in our times of fear, in our times of uncertainty, when we feel like we are walking through the valley of the shadow of death, are we taking comfort in God's voice? Are we being led by God's voice? Are we realizing that God's rod and God's staff will comfort us and will protect us. God is greater than any hurting dog. God will protect greater than Milo will protect. And yet Milo makes it his mission, his one life goal when he's around little kids or around sheep that he can herd to herd them and protect them. How much greater does God want to protect us? Because we are his sheep. He wants us to be safe, and he is going to protect us from the darkest valley. He is going to protect us from the shadow of death. He is going to protect us from all of the attacks of Satan. Don't be discouraged. Know that God is with you, and God is protecting you on this day. God bless, brothers and sisters.